Hi, Ivan from Viral Hair. We made Viral Light, the first super portable cable camera kit. In this video, I'll show you some tricks I use to stabilize my Viral Light footage. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button. You don't want to miss out on future videos. Let's go. Most cameras these days has really good stabilization, especially 360 cameras and newer types action cameras. But sometimes you want to use a heavier camera, such as a DSLR or a mirrorless camera. These cameras have variable levels of stabilization, and after a full day of shooting you might discover that there are some micro shakes in your footage. Well, luckily there's a quick fix for this problem. It's called Warp Stabilizer, and it works like this. You should always give your editing software the best possible starting point. In this case, it means footage that's as smooth as possible from the camera. Here are some tips for smoother viral light footage, so you need to do less work in the editing stage. Make sure your viral light is steady before each run. Accelerate as smoothly as possible without jerky movements on the speed wheel. After importing the footage to your computer, it's time to remove any underside micro shakes. You can find this plugin in both Premiere Pro and After Effects. Warp Stabilizer first analyzes your clip and then applies stabilization to it. So what I like to do before this is to go through the clip and do basic editing such as speed ramps. If you do adjustments to your clip after using Warp Stabilizer, the plugin will have to analyze your clip again. Applying Warp Stabilizer after basic editing will help you save time. If your video clip aspect ratio does not match your sequent aspect ratio, you will have to nest your clip. This basically just means Premiere makes a new clip with the same aspect ratio as your sequence. And that way you can apply warp stabilization without any problems. By default the smoothness parameter of warp stabilizer is set to 50%, which is in most cases way too much. I find that tweaking this parameter is the most important part of getting the best stabilized footage. Usually I use around 1-5% to smoothness and that will make your viral light footage look extra smooth. Just look at that. Bam. So that's how you stabilize your viral light footage. If you like this, hit the subscribe button and ring that bell. More videos coming up. And remember, go out and film what you love and have fun. See ya!